Hey everyone, welcome to the second episode of Zeitgeist Ellis. <laughs> this is this is Forrest. And this is Major. It's good to be back. I like this theme music. Sorry, I missed last episode. Hey, yep. we missed you on the last episode. Oh, Robbie, you're not I'm sorry. Hurt, you're yes. a great person. I feel like we all appreciate you so much for the wonderful person you are. Oh. Truly a kind heart. <laughs> so the movies we watched last week, um, I don't think I watched any, but I did watch the new episode of WandaVision. Sweet. But I yeah, can't, can't wait to get if to anyone that. Saw any movies, if anyone saw any movies, oh, man. this so is I the time finally to watched watch The Blind three. Side. And let me tell you, one, Sandra Bullock, Absolute smoke show. I don't know how old she was in that movie, but damn, girl, you look good. Uh, and then, two, I hadn't watched that movie because I knew it was going to make me cry like a bitch. And I did. I am proud to admit it. Damn As you my should be. empathy. I mean. Well, she uh, was um, she was married to a neo-Nazi, I think. <laughs> like her who, ex-husband was a neo-Nazi. Sandra Bullock? Yeah. Yeah, look it up. Like her ex-husband was a neo-Nazi. Maybe she's into then, like and, some of that dungeon kinky shit. And then when they divorced, she overcompensated by, I think, adopting a, a black kid. What? <laughs> yeah. Are you talking about Jesse James? No, yeah, her ex-husband, who had, like, Nazi per- paraphernalia or whatever. Um, Who's the founder yeah. of West Coast Choppers? Oh, West Coast Choppers. Yeah. So, Jesse I think, James. yeah, they got divorced. So, yeah. She's, uh, that movie's uh, kind of, I've never seen it, but it just seems sort of like... Um, more just a, a vehicle for her to get like an actual Oscar instead of like actually trying to you know help out. I mean, it was right in the middle America. of her phrase or her big movie phase when she was like a, a teacher in a poor area. Okay, she was a, a football coach in a poor area or whatever. Time out. Can we adjust the fact that the Google image that comes up with people also search for when you type in Sandra Bullock ex husband. One of his former spouses, Carla James. I was going to say, you talking about Carla James? Up, the picture that comes up when it says people also search for it, she's literally got, like, her tits are out. And she's <laughs> covering her nipple with, like, a camo army hat. If oh, wow. That is not class. And let me know. I, I, I got to know what, what order this was in. Was Carla James oh. before or after Sandra Bullock? It was before Carla Probably. James was married to Jesse James on uh, from 1991 to 2002. Oh, so, yep, I see that now. And then they were 2005 to 2010 or something like that. Was yeah, Sandra Bullock was 2005 to 2010. And then oh now he's married to some Alexis DeJoria. Oh, she's like a fucking professional drag racer. Oh, yeah. I mean, he makes West Coast choppers, so that makes sense. I'm sure they Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. She competes in the National Hot Rod Association funny car category. <laughs> let's let's not uh, exaggerate. Okay, that's a good point. Yeah, <laughs> you should probably, probably check the, the category. Funny funny car goes. category, and it's probably because her husband makes some fucking racist Nazi car, and everybody's like, oh, I guess we have to laugh because I don't know if I should cry. <laughs> Whatever. I'm gonna imagine her just driving the the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile, which yes, by the way they movies. are hiring. Wiener drivers? Yeah, they're hiring yeah. one-year contract wiener drivers to go across the country. Yeah, because they're delivering food now so much because of the pandemic. Just delivering so like, sausage well, across the country sounds like... Yep. Just, just, just throwing wieners whoa, whoa, in your whoa, face. Whoa, 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 We're not using my name for us. I'm going to need you to bleep that out. I do not want my first name associated with anything that I will and will not and will say. And who's will, by the way? So what are we going to call you, though? Uh, yeah, no, don't, Professor, don't worry. Professor, it's spelled <laughs> with... <laughs> Oh my god, Major! No! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking last name using piece of it's Colonel Major. It's my fault. Are there major uh, colonels so in your shit every day, by the way? I think just say to call you by your last name, yeah. All right, we'll call you yeah. Warren. Just everybody point out. So this is his last name. And what was your yeah. address again? It was and his Atlanta? address. We're gonna need Atlanta. your social security number. Yeah. We're gonna need your social security number and a list of all your fears. Well, also. I think we should two, probably two. call you. We're just gonna call two. you Jesse James for this episode. Two, 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 two. 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 Houston, yep. right? Sandra's ex. So <laughs> Sandra's right, ex. I'm down with that. that I'll be saying how. Back. How did I've you? I've actually watch never dated a Sandra. So the Blind Side, and you couldn't get around to watching WandaVision. 
Um, because yeah, a girl wanted like... to watch the Blind Sign Major. Duh. Uh, like, uh. if I'm watching TV these days, it's on a date, probably. Well, um, you need to be like, oh, sorry, I need to do some research for my upcoming podcast plug. And it wasn't uh, actually this yeah. week. It was actually, like, a few weeks ago. But, oh, oh actually, so we... I did watch a movie this week. I did. I watched the, uh, the uh, what's it called? The Ted Bundy movie on Netflix with Zac Efron. Oh, is that any good? Dude, it Tell is me. really good. Like, I never yeah. thought Zac Efron was going to, like, be a successful actor. No offense, Zac. Your body's great, son. You're doing he's, great. Definitely, he's, he's definitely cake. listening. But you, you're definitely one not uh, one of the smartest guys that I thought. But you did great. You did fucking phenomenal. Fantastic. Yeah, What what's his other show on Netflix, like Down to Earth, where it's like he like yeah, goes that's around? That's it. Yeah. And he just acts amazed by anything he's told. I mean, they go to like <laughs> some of that stuff. Some of that stuff is pretty oh. amazing. I didn't watch it. I was in another room, but Kelly watched it, and she was like, "Major, they cure cancer with water." And I was like, "All right, Netflix, calm down." Calm they were like, the go to like a ge- down, Netflix. they get like a geothermal plant, and like they tell them like we use geothermal energy to make energy. He's like, "Whoa!" They go like Niagara. They get like to some sort of waterfall, and he's like, "This waterfall is like eight thousand feet deep he's like whoa so basically every episode is like him wearing a different beanie um, <laughs> eyes wide going whoa yeah. he does wear yeah, a lot of different circadian beanies. definitely picture that circadian like, rhythms so. whoa circadian <laughs> rhythms circadian rhythms yeah we get those all the time in, in wherever i live <laughs> yeah. yeah it's like he goes around the world with like a self-help guru Who's basically no. just calm? Not just, not just a, a self. It's his self help guru. They're like BS. Oh, true, yeah. yeah, they're like besties. Yeah, because Zach Efron needs lots of self help. It's true. He's, yeah, he's doing he, um, really badly. Poor guy. <laughs> he's not. He wasn't Baywatch shape when he filmed that. It looked like he's a little puffier, but you know, it's, still it's, hard, it's hard to stay in Baywatch shape. Bro, just you know, keep. Uh, yeah, you need a uh, certain roid. Chill burritos. With your beanie. Burritos. Where's Tip? Tip, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Uh, I'm listening. Are you <laughs> calm? You're just. You're just. Who is? Uh, who's rummaging with papers? Oh, not me. I'm not prepared at all. That's all right. I just, okay. I just invite people. That's so. That's, that's all uh, we need you to do. Just send out the link so we can talk about this shit. Yeah, we talk about Wandavision. Uh, that's pretty, like, I want to talk about Man of Steel first. So. Let's. Man, what? Wanna, That's like seven years too late. It is. Are you? Oh wait, are we talking about the movie or are we talking about me last night? Oh, talking oh. about the movie. So, did you steal a lot of stuff, Man of Steel? S T E A L. Yes. You stole... I stole some heart. Yeah, and Henry Cavill stole my heart. That beefcake. Um. That so I obviously had watched the movie probably in theaters when it came out. But I'm gonna I'm gonna share a little secret with you guys. I thought there were two Superman movies, like the origin story, and then everyone kept talking about Superman killing Zod, and I was like, I don't remember that at all. There must be a second one. But no, that movie's that just movie's like so two and a half bad. hours long. Yeah, I did not remember how much devastation they caused in Metropolis, like during that awesome 30 minute fight scene or whatever. But you know, they pretty much destroyed the whole city. Uh, well, Smallville, Smallville too. Yeah, the first uh, the first fight, and uh, oh, then they go like full. Oh, Smallville! Destroy everything. Talking about someone stealing your heart. Y'all remember that show? God, you talking about you talking about Tom is? Welling? Oh no! Uh, what the was girl. the woman's name? Oh, uh, Lana Lang. We can't. Lana. Yeah. Kristen. You mean the one? Kristen. The one wrapped Kristen up in Crook. the uh, the sex. No, that's cult? Chloe. That was Chloe. Chloe was in the sex cult, and I think she's like in prison now. But what? Um, yeah, there's a documentary Lana... on HBO I've been meaning to watch about it. About the, it's like she like, like the, the the main actress from yeah. fucking no 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 Small Chloe Boy. Chloe. But like oh the, well, the yeah, blonde one yeah the blonde one. But yeah, like but she was in the show. Half the, the show, show or half the cast was like in that cult by the end of it all. No, well I way. know Kristen Crook was, but she like left I think. But including the tall think... guy. No, it was just it was no, just Chloe and maybe Lana. But yeah, not Lex, not uh, whoever else was in that show. Oh yeah, I forgot about Lex Luthor, that bald piece of shit. That he was, was like, I think the best actor, though. I thought he was the best part of the show. Like he, <laughs> I think... I, like, like Forrest and I just blatantly just disagree. That's, that's, <laughs> that's why. That's why you guys are both he on was the same definitely... podcast. <laughs> like, he was the I best part he... of the show. He was not a convincing actor. <laughs> 
Well, I thought he, him and John Kent were the standouts for like just the men, and I guess like his the the dad Luther. Yeah. Yeah. Lionel. Can we talk? So I thought it was yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hey, well, I just thought it was hilarious that Lex Luthor's dad has such a great head of hair. Right. <laughs> yeah. Lionel Luther was a phenomenal. Like that was a, the whole show had great casting all around. I really yeah I really liked it. Like compared um, compared to Gotham, it's a massive. My sister liked to watch it. I never really watched it that I'm much. It's it. it all the whole show. The whole show's on Hulu. I think I've, I'm I'm like on season six. I watched like an episode this week. Wait, are you really? You're really rewatching yeah. that? We just randomly talked about it. Well, no, I started watching it uh, like I think a few years ago. I started with season one, but it's like twenty episodes per season, so it takes it's a huge time commitment. So I'm just now in season six, and it get really it gets really repetitive. Yeah, it's, obviously, uh, it's like of the week because it's a you know a prime it's like they're 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 powered network cable they're powered TV by show. kryptonite. <laughs> yeah, they're powered by kryptonite. He and Lana get together, and they break up. Uh, there's like a red kryptonite episode where he gets like becomes evil. Yep. Um, that happens. Lex a few Luthor. Times, I think. There's a uh, Aquaman. He, he loses. He loses. He loses powers one episode every season. Uh, Christopher Reeves uh, stars in an episode or guest stars. He has to stay oh, super yeah. hidden. Yeah. Yeah. Back when, uh, he, he played like a, a strong Have you guys player. watched The Boys? Love yes! The Boys. Oh, yeah. Yes! yeah. Season two is so oh, good. Yeah, I can't they wait to. They have some rough I think they're. they're... I, I think they're, uh... can do anything. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, that was uh that was actually filmed in season one. Yeah, they but, like, Amazon put it like told him told him to cut it, and then like it became a huge hit. They're just like, yeah, put it back in. Which like, means it's ready for the hearing. Because he looks, because he looks a little. Yeah, I I, I Wait, wonder Tip, if we'll how do far that. are I you in it, the boys? Are, are we spoiling anything for you? No, I've watched all of them. Okay, yeah. so it was head popping. Season two was. Where is, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I hope. I wonder if they're gonna uh, do uh, the G Men, the G Men next next yeah, season. What do you? I think, think so because they've got a uh, Soldier Boy and he's like the lead of the G Man. So I think the first episode is actually called G. G-Man. No, he's a uh, no. He's 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 part of Payback. Oh, okay. so, like, Payback. Oh, in that case, I think or the X-Men. season. I think the episode one of season three is called Payback. Then, so. Okay. Yeah. Payback's like the Avengers, like Soldier Boy's Captain America. I always thought like Payback Knights, was a bitch. Man. Ah! Yeah. Ah! That lowbrow humor we got you in here for paying for the <laughs> Yeah, but is it just me and Mage that reads the comics, or is it just does anyone else read them? Because the G Men are based yes. like the X. Only you and Mage are lame enough to read the comics. I, I mean, the G Men are like learn. they're like the X Men if Professor X was a pedophile. Yeah, that's bad. So. What? Yeah, and it's like. Um, so he, he like molests the kids when they're teenagers, and they grow up and they become molesters. So like the whole cycle like sort of recycles. So what? Pretty messed up. Yeah, what? dude. That's so that be... wow. And I thought season two was getting rough. No, the whole comic book yeah. is just wild. And spoiler alert: they have superpowers. Like the boys have superpowers in in the oh, comic yeah. book because they've taken the serum. Who? They take compound yeah. Yes, so they actually like can actually fight. So they can actually beat the shit out of, shit out of the superheroes instead of having to be clever or stick dynamite up their butt. Well, the fe- the fem- the female still has powers in the show. It's just the other. That's true. They don't they use? She's stuff. a girl. I was talking about the boys. All right, I want to know what the powers are. What's Mother's Milk's power? Oh, it's just like super yeah, strength. It's, all it's super just strength. um, they, it's lame. They oh. can't fly. It's just you know that's lame. Uh, but all they get is super yeah. strength. Do, do you want to know why he's yeah. called Mother's Milk? I don't think you do. I don't, I'm not sure the TV show will talk I, about it, so I'm, I'm okay with talking about it on here. Okay, go ahead. Uh, so, Mother's Milk, big strong black guy, gets his power from drinking his mother's milk as a grown ass man. She's this large, five hundred, eight hundred thousand pound woman sitting in the basement of his house, and he like milks her like Luke Skywalker milking a, a space cow, um, and he drinks his, his milk. And if he doesn't, she has compound B. No, no, he, he's just like a freak. Um, like if he doesn't drink his mom's milk, he gets he like shrivels up and gets like really small and weak. What the fuck? Yeah, I don't think they're gonna do that in the TV show. It is the whole what the fire. whole comic book the is fuck? outrageous, <laughs> dude. What kind of drugs was this guy taking writing this? I mean, it was Holy the eighties, right? So lots of cocaine. Oh it was, <laughs> no, no, it was um. He wrote this in like Would the 2000s. So, so. Oh, so. cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> Cocius. Or is it just what you think comic yeah. book? You think like the 
Pokius, Pokius. Yeah, you, you think Except like for it kind of doesn't help with but, the Pokius. Not at all. Spencer or, or uh, <laughs> Tip, what do you think about the boys? What was your favorite part, or who's your favorite character? Um, Tip loves boys. I like that uh, the the Supergirl character or whatever. The book, yeah. Star Girl, Starlight. That, yeah. I thought your favorite character would be Love Sausage. Ah, I don't think he's, mm-hmm. Has he premiered yet? Simple. Oh yeah, he was. Yeah. He was the what? Russian guy. Yeah. Yeah. What does he do? Love he's sausage. like, what's well, like. I was like, that's not a, that's not an arm. Remember that thing that wrapped around? Oh, oh, books? that guy. Uh, that yeah, guy. yeah. <laughs> I remember. Man, that show is like, brutal. That's not that's not a... Love. Star. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, that was funny. He plays a lot bigger role in yeah. uh, at least the first I like couple. Frenchy. Books. Frenchie's probably one of my favorites. Frenchie's badass. Oh, yeah. thanks, Robbie. You're so nice. Hey, Tip. They're uh, they're filming the Sandman TV show, and they're filming the the diner. Uh, issue Ooh. right now I'm reading the Sandman yeah. is so. that's a, a fascinating um, look into the human psyche yeah so tell us more oh about that for us in a link to the Sandman I just never clicked that. on it yeah it was like that's like from the issue where like uh, I think the the bad guy like just goes in this diner and just like has has this jewel that can take over people's minds and he just basically just has them like rape and kill each other just because he's bored and then, like, Sandman Ken's in the end, and then it's, like, um, Sandman a big another sh- comic standoff. Hero? Like, superhero? And this is a thing? DC comic? This is, like, Vertigo, but it's, like, um, I guess I would, I would, so I would say it's a... So he has more balance? What does that mean? It's, uh, yeah, Vertigo. Vertigo, yeah. No, oh, no. <laughs> that, that's the name of the imprint. I know. They wrote, I think Vertigo wrote V for Vendetta, if I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. And uh, why the well, last man, Transmetropolitan. Alan like Moore wrote V for Vendetta, Spencer. Yeah, but it was on the Vertigo imprint. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh. I mean, yeah. <laughs> they printed, they printed V for Vendetta. <laughs> and so was uh, Preacher, who, which uh, Garth, Ren- Garth Ennis also that's wrote. A, who wrote that's a really big show on Netflix, right? That's like which Preacher. Preacher. Yeah, that's like blown up. Right. No, Preacher. Preacher was on AMC, but it might be on Netflix now. But it only lasted four seasons. They didn't really uh, adapt the, the the comic very well, very closely. I want to yeah, watch. They the just new, made some uh, weird changes. I want to watch the stand. Apparently, Stephen King said he likes it. Like the adaptation they more recently made, way more than he liked the like first one. Well, everyone's like uh, review hating, review bombing it now because of Amber Heard, because uh, they're all pissed off at her because of her um, accusing Johnny Depp of domestic violence. So it has like a. A bunch of negative reviews, oh, but no. a lot of people have actually watched it. I mean, I read the book like in high school. It's it's pretty good. I just don't imagine CBS is going to be like adapt like the more raunchy parts of the novel. Interesting. Only has a twenty eight percent on uh, Google user. No. What about on um, what? What about RT? Fifty eight percent and five point four on IMDb. Oh, damn! Oh, wow. That is not good reviews. No. Yeah, CBS All Access is just like a huge train wreck. Like Star Trek Discovery, Star Trek Picard. You don't like Star Trek Discovery? I heard Picard was bad. No. Yeah, I heard it's just like, it's worse than like what Doctor Who has become. It's just like... um, Boris, that's sexist. I know. Well, I mean, he doesn't really have a specific sex if he's just going back and forth, right? No, but I'm talking about the made a female who, Doctor Who. Isn't she the first female Doctor Who? She is. Welcome yeah. to 2021, but baby, the, the 21st century. But it's, I think, I think the show sucks just because the writing, not because Doctor Who's a female, though. It's just oh, okay. like uh, they yeah, just completely have good. ideas. But I don't watch, I don't watch Doctor Who. Doctor, Doctor Who's just like Doctor Who going out there for me. I agree. I don't like Doctor 70s. Who either, just because I think it's boring. <laughs> it's like yeah. it's like yeah, it's like I don't. It's it's like uh, it's like some uh guy who won't die works the television. You know, like, <laughs> you know, it's not boring planets at all. WandaVision. What? Oh, great segue. Oh, wow. Is back in over here. What are you, Elon Musk? Uh, ah, yeah. he didn't make the segue. So the guy we like, made the segue. Died uh, on the segue. Did it on the bad one. I guess we'll. I guess we'll give a spoiler-free <coughs> review since not everyone's watched it. But so yeah, I guess we can say that the show is in color this, yeah. this week. I want to just leave. I want to go back and, and talk a little bit more about what we talked about last week. You for us thought it'd be better if they dropped all the episodes at once. I thought it'd be better if they dropped the yeah. first three episodes, and I want to pompously say that I think I'm right here. 
Uh, yeah, I want to like, preface no, say. Let me preface that. Yeah, in my I just propriety. want to say, like, I like the mystery and suspense. Like, after watching episode three, you're like, all right, I'm hooked. I'm sucked in. I have no idea what's going on, but they're they're finally feeding me something. Uh, so because especially yeah, they, episode they, they one, they don't tell you TV. anything in episode mm, one. Anything, nothing at all, except that they don't really know why they're there or something. Right? It's so like they're like clouded. Neither of them want to say they don't know what the hell is on the calendar. But this... Right? Oh mm-hmm. yeah. And spoiler alert: that's totally married life. I love it. Um, I did think They're it was like, really so, interesting. That marker on the calendar. You're like, yeah, you know what that's for, right? Of course I do. I would never forget. I'm incapable of forgetting. Yeah, both of them totally know what that is. You know what the show reminds yeah. me How of, about guys? Uh, what? A bad LSD trip. <laughs> 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 Where you are like, da, 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 and then all of a sudden, <laughs> is this real? You guys oh, are living that like Some ethereal pigment of your imagination that manifests itself as a large black dog through the streets. So in episode three, <laughs> are they like in the 70s time yeah. now? Or? Yep. They're yeah, it's like, six, like Brady, Brady Bunch, uh, Partridge Family sort of era, so I guess like 60s. It's a, it's a true homage to, to 70s television. I see, really was see, hoping it would Mark, just be like that 70s show because that's the 70s TV I can relate to, but Clearly, yeah, they're, they're like, so wait, are they like, all right, where so, a lot of people are. All right, shut the it. fuck up. I need more about the premise of this show. Are they inside of a television? Like, what the fuck's going on? They're basically like in a reality that uh, mimics. Yeah, they're in a, a micro bubble. The late uh, and, a, and they got and a, there because she can like open portals and shit. She can, like, We're not reality, sure. Like, like in the, right. So yeah, so yeah, there might be in charge. Kind of broad about what her powers are. <laughs> yeah, if you don't define the well, powers, powers you can just, yeah, broad. you can just write them to be whatever you want them to be. But there's like a part in episode one yeah. when like a voice Johnny Wu like uh, comes through the radio and he's like, "Wanda, what's happening, Wanda? Who's doing this to you, Wanda?" So like, we're not sure. Like, Wanda's definitely in charge, but we're not sure if she did this by herself. If she's even conscious of it, I think she is after seeing episode three. Um. And what happened to the Geraldine character? She's but just now noticing that it is happening, right? I thought it was really. I think she just. I thought it was like, really remarkable. Like in the first there, episode, the first thing that Wanda says is, "My husband and her indestructible head," right? And that's, oh yeah, that's how. That's what? not true. That's not true. That's not true because he had the Grimmer Thanos. Right? Like, oh, exactly. Oh yeah. yeah. So just, like, that's why I think it's very head. purposefully. <laughs> Yeah, he's like, I think give me that. Well, like well, she's creating they, an alternate well, reality. Thanos with... had six fucking infinity stones when he, or was it? Well, he, five he, out he of ripped six? it out with his bare hand, though. Yeah. He ripped that with his bare hand, though. He's just like, let me get that pimple. <laughs> let me get that pimple on your head. <laughs> Thanos. <laughs> well, Thanos is a titan. Like he's one of the titans of the universe, so he's close to. He's basically yeah, oh, like almost a celestial. I read that uh, Thanos might be in the new Eternals movie. Oh uh, yeah, That's young Thanos. That would be great. Give me some more time to roll in. With, like, acne. <laughs> yeah, like, just, like, um, sexually frustrated <laughs> what, about, what, about, what about a baby? With, like, Thanos? that acne. Yeah, they might do that, yeah. Oh, like, baby Groot. Him just, like, dancing to... You know, <laughs> still have for, like... That was sort of... ELO, sort of, you mean? ELO. E-L- oh, yeah. Whoops. Elm. Electric light work. Dancing struck. to, like, some elm tree, which is a tree joke, which does work for Groot. So, Forrest, either you meant it or not, I still... Golf clap. Electric lights uh, music group, ELM. <laughs> so, do you think... I'm sure there is an ELM out there, probably. Do you think Wanda's in charge of all this? Do you think uh, yeah. she's the one who's, who's in control? I think I, I think think someone's, so. like, tricking her to do this. Well, I see it as... I think there's, like, some, I someone's, like, hypnotizing her. Well, you do she know it is hard to rock a rhyme to write a rhyme that's right on time. Vision, and she's somehow using those emotions to... Right, like, like yeah. Throw them ...into that reality, but she doesn't know that she's doing it at first. That's how oh. I'm like seeing it, but I don't yeah, know. I think the... <laughs> Guys, there's a power button on the bottom of my mic. That's why it wasn't working earlier. It wasn't turned on. Oh, wow. Holy cow! Oh my <laughs> yeah, like I think the prevailing fear right now is that it's must. Yeah. Oh yeah, if you hadn't been talking the whole time, that'd been like, you thought you'd be talking. Like, why these guys keep interrupting me? You give like a huge, you give a huge treatise on the the ethics of Wandavision, and you're just like, oh, we didn't hear any of it. So, but yeah. 
So what else in the news today besides Larry Whoa, King? Whoa, are we done about? Are we done with WandaVision? Uh, There's something wrong. In oh, what, 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 what else? What else? Me not what else do you want to discuss? Well, I guess I guess next week they're going to do like the Roseanne yeah. era, like the '80s. So she's going to like give it like a racial oh. speak. Or has he passed episode one of these fans yet? <laughs> I'm, I finished episode three, so like they, he killed Thomas Jane's partner, or apparently he didn't kill him. Really, they the just, show like, doesn't take him. off till like the end of season one, beginning of season right. Three. Yeah, season one, season one only got like a now, seventy-seven if, on Rotten Tomatoes. If you want like, some slow. fun behind the scenes fact, the Expanse started as a role playing game, and the reason why that character got killed off so early is because he stopped playing the game, so they wrote him out. Who the Expanse? Oh, okay. What? I thought it was. Like, I thought it was based yeah, on so books. yeah, the uh, the expanse. This guy, um, the the main author, uh, creative visionary director, genius mastermind, whatever you want to call him, created this D and D kind of in space uh, role playing game. And from the role playing game, they wrote the books, and from the books came the movie. But that's why that character gets killed off so suddenly. It's because he left. What character? Uh, the, um, oh. whatever his name is, the guy who dies, he gets his head like just fucking blown off. Oh, oh yeah, from the rail guy. Yeah, he, no, he, he gets railed. Oh. He literally gets railed. He gets like Damn. through yeah, the like, through so the chest. In the show, no, it's really through the out. head. It's like his head's just gone. Yeah. Hey, it's like some Game of Thrones he held shit. Up, like, like, like they kill a main the, character. What was he holding up to him? And then just like that. Rail and it was just gone. Him. Yeah. It happened so fast, like they didn't even know what the hell happened. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll I'll finish it eventually. I just need to get through season. I just need to get oh season God, two, and then we'll get. I mean, it was like it's not bad. Yeah, it's still it's not, good, but season two, it's, and three season one's so not bad. It's just it's just slow oh, going. Man. It's just Dude, still world building. You're still using the characters, you know. <laughs> Dude, yeah, I've that, watched like, so much of the Expanse. It was like. I did. I did. I think I got all like the first four seasons done in like maybe two and a half weeks or something. Oh, like very that. nice. Like I would the literally promise. stay up till like one a.m. in the morning. Like I would watch like four or five episodes a night, and like I would fall asleep to that almost every yeah, night. That's how they and get you. Go back just figure out where the fuck oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. ends I'm on like, a cliffhanger. I just like slowly fell asleep on the couch. And- you think you stood, you think you were awake for parts of it, and then you go back, you're like, shit, I missed like 15. I don't remember any of this. Yeah. <laughs> you, Robbie had a wet dream about Thomas Jane or something like that. <laughs> or, um, yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, it's an interesting show. I just need to finish it. Pound it. Pound it. Pound it. Chip, have so. you watched The Expanse? No, I just looked up The Expanse on Wikipedia. It's definitely. Oh, Holy. Dude, look at the reviews. It's got amazing it's definitely reviews. Worth watching. The this show is so good. It almost made me change my opinion. I'll claim credit Bezos. for that. Yeah, Major and Spencer were recommending it for a while, and I was like, well, I know what? I recommended it, and then Major was like, "I've been looking for something to watch oh, since yeah, I don't have a job." <laughs> and I was like, no, <laughs> "Watch like, this, man, Major. I... <laughs> you have plenty." I just snip that up like cocaine. I was like, "Any more expanse? Give it to me now." I watch uh, <laughs> the episodes. Weekly, ding, 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 I watched the, uh, the second cocaine reference of the episode. <laughs> I watched the uh, the podcast afterwards with uh, Wes Chapman, uh, tying that guy podcast. It's pretty good. All right, I'm gonna keep a tally, and at the end of each episode, I'm gonna make a rundown of our illicit substance references. <laughs> oh, yeah, take a shot every time, take a shot every, every time, time. The drugs are mentioned, <laughs> drugs or alcohol is referenced. Yeah, you use a drug every time a drug is, <laughs> a drug is referenced. Alcohol is the worst drug, everybody. Well, because of its prevalence and accessibility, it's not the worst in terms of physical effects. But it's pretty bad. It is the it's worst. the worst. Right there was smoking. And Major's like, so literally say, like, he says, bourbon, smoking a cigar. cigar. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's the worst, but gosh darn it if I don't love it's this son of a worst. bitch. <laughs> So apparently Xbox Live is going to double their oh, uh, membership they can price. Lick my balls. And they and they, and they've just rescinded that because oh, they, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Goodbye, Halo. You do yeah, not we're time do to get like, a PS5 yeah. like, for six months instead. I'm like Xbox. You do not need, need to lose any goodwill with your players right now. Yeah, after like Sony has like literally like all the 
all the direct to PlayStation games. Yeah, right. The exclusive games. So I was like, they need to like ensure their uh, considering fan getting base. A PS5. Happen. But then it's like, yeah, I'll get one. I'll get one eventually. Uh, it's just yeah. I'm gonna wait for the price to go down. Got more and, stimulus checks. You know, there's no, there's no, yeah, there's, there's, no, there's, really, there's really no games I want to really play right now. Me too. Getting a new. Yeah. I want to play Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah, but you get that for PS4 though, so you can like save like 200 well, bucks. I, I have and just get like money. a PS4. Not an issue. I just don't have time to play a game like that because I like playing those games that you can pick up and put down. Just like Major's girlfriend. Ah. I mean, why? Oh, I was like, jokes on you. I've been trying to yeah. fix my Xbox don't, well, don't. so I can play uh, Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I remember going to and, and and Halo 2. Oh, wow. <laughs> Halo yeah. 1, baby. Actually, I don't want to yeah, I had Halo that's 1. Like, on that's Xbox One. Xbox One graphics. The remake, I'm not going to lie. The remastered Halo 1 that's in the Master Chief Collection. I was not impressed with the graphics. I was very thoroughly oh, yeah, impressed. It's, not yeah. it. it's an old game. It doesn't have a graphics. Yeah, but like if they're gonna release it and be like remaster graphics, like they should be remastered well, they, they to the level re- of today's technology. They don't technology. remake the game. They just kind of smooth things out. That's all they do. Yeah, the corners are less edge. But yeah, yeah. It, it, my, money's still, it, my money's still, still my money's still my still money. Kind of smoothed out. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could you know remaster the sixty dollars I gave them the first time around. Yeah, they don't bump it up to like Halo Five. They're probably gonna do a. <laughs> they're probably do a remaster of Metal Gear Solid. I think. I think that's like on the horizon. Is, uh, isn't that serious? You know, pretty much, they've lost Kojima. So they. Uh, even Ko- even yeah, Kojima. Kojima. Well, it's not they, dead. They're just gonna like do it without Kojima. Like kind of milked that shit on it. <laughs> Yeah, there's 40 games. Yeah, I, I always hoped. Well, there's only like there's five main ones. Plus, there's like you know the first two that were for like I, I really computer, Japanese computer the exclusively. Game came out with. It's a very different game. I think yeah, I always hoped he was good. He was. He was I always hoped he was going to do a sequel to uh, Metal Gear Solid 4 with Solid Snake. Like he had like one more Solid Snake the story. Story, but I guess it like was Metal a good Gear ending. Three. That's really nice. Yeah, they'll probably just do remasters of all of them, just because <laughs> Sony just wants money. Money, they money, money. Like, you know, just what they're what they're doing with Resident Evil. So, but yeah, so we we discussed Wandavision. Um, <laughs> Keep it rolling for us. Are we super? Yeah, are we are we bereft of conversation, or do y'all want to? Uh, <laughs> it was, it was literally list. majors. Majors' outline was intro Whoa. movies you watch. <laughs> yeah. Well, so first off, I want to point out. I just googled it. There's 34 Metal Gear Solid games. So 34. check Holy yourself, boy. Well, yeah, there's like don't try to out nerd well, these tactics. Well, five. I said five yeah. main games. Yeah, you know, Metal which Gear is true. And but games. plus the first two are called Metal Gear. Not Metal Gear Solid, but there's like yeah, there's like a Game Boy like uh, Ghost Babble is one of them. There's like the Metal Gear Acid, yeah. Metal Gear Attack, Metal Gear Acid like, Two, uh, Metal Gear, Metal Gear Rising. Yeah, but can anyone tell me the plot? Like, Raiden of Metal Gear of what? You don't know the yeah? Well, yeah I think but like the, the overwhelming the plot is like four, like the Wikipedia page is like forty pages. The dude who works <laughs> in a manufacturing <laughs> facility making <laughs> Metal Gears. It's like. It's a robot. Basically, he's trying to he's trying to stop terrorists from blowing shit up. (laughs) And And it's like like a sneaking game. And there's usually in there and like just trying to yeah. You gotta sneak it in there, right? Right. Did you get the uh, the little exclamation mark? I was like. The sound yeah. of my childhood. Yeah, when you get caught. I think Robbie, did you have that like on your oh, phone? Dude, I, like I, your I, cell phone notification? Oh, for yeah. A while? Every time I got a text, it's like, bing. <laughs> bing. Every time. Oh, yeah. And there's the, uh, P- there's the PSP games like Metal Gear, uh, Solid Peace Walker, and Portable Ops. Portable Ops. Because um, Sony. That like, was such a cop out of po- Sony name. really. Yeah, Sony really pushed PSP, even though I think oh, it only lasted like five PSP years. PSP was dope. Yeah, that, I don't know can, how it didn't do that. I mean, five years sounds like a pretty long time for a console. It was a uh, yeah, handheld one, but I don't think it was huge. Oh, they, they stopped making them. They were expensive. Yeah, it was like like Xbox. I think it's they were like three hundred dollars yeah. or something. Like it was the cost of like an Xbox the or last... PlayStation Two at the time, I think. Yeah. 
Last handhold game uh, system I had. Yeah, dude, but the PSP had the PSP had Star Wars Battlefront Two on it, and it was the full game of Star Wars Battlefront Two, like Galactic Conquest, like all of it, all the game modes, and it also had like Medal of Honor, which was like a full game too. Oh, yeah, that was Medal pretty was really like good. the shooters. The shooters on the PSP were like surprisingly well made and like very fluid. Like they weren't you know, herky-jerky, like, you know, some handheld shooters were back in those days. I mean, we're talking about early 2000s, right? You know? Yeah, so you guys were making fun of my outline. Nice. I mean, I wrote three pages of notes to talk about WandaVision. So I was kind of just... Oh, yeah, just, oh. Look, what do you guys think the Hexagon? Wait, wait, talk, what do you guys think is going on with the Hexagons? Talk about it. Six-sided polygons. Go away, ex Sandra Bullock's husband. There's probably three uh, parallel sides. You guys know what I'm talking about? The um, hexagon imagery? Yeah. All the all the images are like, you know, the intro and the, the outros are all hexagons? Oh, no, those are just really hot in the 70s. <laughs> I think. That was like the best shape. Because you think about it, you think about it, the 60s hexagons were huge. In the 70s, it was like the heptagon. I want to see what, like what source are you citing? So Being the, born in the 90s, Forrest, what source are you citing? Oh. Where are you getting all these hot, sexy... Pull, pull out of, pull okay. out, oh, pull out of my ass. That website. I... You know, you know, Forrest, I'm not going to pull out of your ass. I'm going to stay and blow. Is that a drug reference? Take a shot. Well. Yeah, you said blow. Drug reference. Take a shot. Yeah, right, take, I'm taking a, take a shot a of my Liquid IV over here because this shit's fantastic. By the way, Liquid IV, I'm not, not a, a sponsor yet. Yet. Just like Robin Hood. We're, we're yeah. working on it one day. Um, I just think it's one clever. Day. Like, I don't think yeah. Hexagons really mean anything. I think it's just a, shim- a symbol with the name Hex. Like, it's got the word Hex in it, and it's all a spell. Uh, oh, clever. Okay. Little clever nods there. No. no. No, sounds no. like the the Batman. Mm. Sounds like detective work from Batman Six. A, a, hexa, a, hexa, a hexagon, Robin. Hexagon means hex. Gone means gone. Oh, witchcraft, They're gonna Batman. Steal the hexes. Yeah, those riddles from Batman Sixty Six are they terrible. Have my hexes. What is? What's an example? Yeah. What's an example? Let's let's review the notes. What gets wetter as the it towel. dries? Yeah, holy towel! Here you go. A towel. A towel. It must be the Arabs. These are phenomenal. The Arabs are trying to steal the paint. You guys, you guys, try your best. Why is it orange watch like a Arab. bell? Because both need to be peeled. <laughs> when is the time of a clock like the whistle of a train? This one's actually pretty good. When it's two, uh, two, yeah. two. Oh my god, that's awful! Uh, I'm these done. are I'm leaving. These are all terrible. Uh, if this is if this is what this podcast has come to, I'm out. I, we're gonna have the riddle. Yeah, the riddle. Just every episode, every episode. Let's go through. What what has branches right. and leaves but no bark? A library. These are all terrible. Like it's like we talk about uh, Schumacher. Yeah, these are. Most these are like jokes. Were these in like the TV? This, this were this was in the movie. This was in yep. in the movie. What movie? Oh, no, no, no. Batman, Batman Forever? Uh, 66. Or the when, 66 uh, one. All those people turn into uh, cocaine dust. Boom, take a shot. What? <laughs> if you haven't seen 1966, I own, I own the, uh, the DVD. Oh, yeah. Some days you can't get rid of a bomb. It's like just like, he's like taking away this Major, giant ass bomb. Moon shots? Uh, no, no. I, uh, I'm out of liquor at the moment. Oh. Uh. Yeah, probably for the best. Probably at the moment. At the moment, I gotta work Before out now. after this. I've gotta go get some liquor today too. Actually, so what are you guys gonna? Gotta get a present for my dad. Ooh, happy birthday, dad! Yeah, well, his actual birthday is Monday, and so my mom's going into surgery. Good times, good times. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think that's uh, pretty much pretty much everything I got. Good luck, with, good luck um, to her. Yeah, I had three pages of notes. Yeah, we, we only made. We, well, uh, <laughs> yeah, so well, I, no I, I mean, no I can go back to like episode one. Like, so Wanda and 
vision are trying to figure out like you know they get wedding rings at the, at the end of the episode and they're like when's our anniversary and she's like today and what's our wedding song and it's they decide it's yakety yak yak now what you might not know is that song yakety yak yak was actually the song playing and visions work office when they were asking about the music and the radio um so i think that really supports the idea that wanda is completely making all this up she might be influenced by um, Agnes, her neighbor to the right, hers, not yours. Um, but I think I think Wanda's doing all of this. That bitch makes sense. She just wants to be with her husband, and I don't blame her. I take over well, her town too. You know, she uh, in the age of Ultron before she became, you know, a good character. She touched Tony Stark head and made him ooh which one low 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 this is some real highbrow humor here um, highbrow humor yes do y'all remember Taylor Purser in Hi- high highbrow school when highbrow. he shaved off his eyebrow oh we can't use names <laughs> he's our no. one listener oh, oh one listener dang, he's also reason. driving the train now that goes by your house forest that's a, that's a throwback oh, from last yeah, week. The conductor. We had a train go. No one's yeah. gonna get that because no one's Such gonna listen to continuity. the podcast other than us. <laughs> if you listen to the first episode, they'll oh, be like a oh, reference. Yeah. Hey, train train if episode. you can yeah, reference yeah, past episodes and it works for Marvel, it should work for us. They'll wa- exactly. They'll want to go back and uh, listen to the first episode I wanna, once they hear. Oh, I want to go back and train hear belt. the rest of Tish's so interesting. Touching what? the top of uh, so Wanda, Wanda touches. Uh, oh yeah, the, the face. Yeah, those are kind of hijacked. That so Wanda <laughs> touches Tony's about. face and he sees a vision of all them dying. You were saying? Yes. Yeah. I mean, you you've seen the Age of Ultron. Yeah. And uh, the Age of Ultron. I fell asleep during it, so I need to like the three but, days. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He only so he fell, That's probably the he worst fell asleep Marvel after that part when she touched Tony in a while. Like I, I remember falling asleep during that one twice. No. Yeah. The dark world. Oh, yeah. Third the dark world. Yeah, that's that's yeah. the no, worst that one. But that was that was a long time yeah. ago. Yeah. Ant Man yeah. the Wasp wasn't that great either. I like that Ant Man too. I just also first really was like okay. Paul Rudd. Ant Man the Wasp. Paul Rudd's very charming for sure. Now you I want to say I made some some bold claims about Batman versus Superman. On our last podcast, and I stand by most of them, but yesterday, because Spence, uh, Sandra Bullock's ex-husband pointed out, pointed out I'm unemployed, I got lots of free time. I went back and I watched the uh, Hulkbuster versus Hulk scene um, from Age of Ultron, and it's just it's a fight minute, it's a fight minute, uh, five minute fight scene, and I. It's like oh, it's yeah. so much better. It's so much better than anything that DC has done. Like to watch it in like comparison afterwards. I watched the fight from yeah. Batman and Superman, That's which you know, is, Man. isn't a great fight, but like, it's, like a one- it's garbage compared to uh, like it's a good fight, but you know it's a better movie. But like that fight scene's not that great. You know, it's eight minutes. You wait two hours to watch these two guys fight, and then. Save no, more the Hulkbuster versus. I uh, I put a link in, in our group chat. Yeah. It is yeah. phenomenal. It's such a great fight scene. Oh, well, I never can see like the. There's like a... on YouTube, so I just like don't open them in case they're stupid. Fourth year. Oh, they're always, uh, they're always, always stupid. stupid. Did you see the one about fair? Like... <laughs> no. I was like on a date last night. I got back to my phone at one point, and I had like twenty something missed messages from y'all. Oh, dude, I woke (laughs) up this morning. There was like forty. Oh, it's like forty that I missed. Oh my god! Yeah, it's usually it's usually like you and you and Spencer, Major and Spencer. No, it's not. That that is because I wasn't even in that. It's not as bad recently, but not maybe not yesterday, but usually it's a good chunk of it. I'm sorry, you guys. Did you? I was just posting out there for my homies to make some free money if you guys wanted to, but I can just take that to the DM conversation. So many of them. Kind of don't feel like checking it anymore. <laughs> oh, we know, Rob. You I were, did. You were posting stock advice. No, no, that. not last night. No, oh, okay. No, but sometimes I open up my phone and it's just twenty gifts from Matt, and I love every one of them. <laughs> <laughs> the Bernie memes have been on point lately. 
Oh yeah. Oh my god. Have you seen a couple of the ones? The, the, the oh, UFC ones, one, my UFC favorite. One. Yeah. Like the one when he like folds yeah. him out of the chair. <laughs> that so folding chair. Just gotta pop. No. No, I haven't seen that one either. Oh, oh yeah, that looks like two of them that were like my favorite that are on my <laughs> Facebook page right now. Oh, you still use Facebook? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I got a little of everything. Yeah, everyone's everyone's. I don't just now. use Facebook. Facebook and Rebus Blue like was our first social media stuff now, but <laughs> yeah, you can't post yeah, anything. It's all, raunchy it's all my you, family, like, on Facebook. like all my aunts, my entire, my entire, my entire family's on. Yeah, it's not cool. Yeah. That's why everyone's like, I got on all Instagram. of them. So, I guess I mainly use social like, media. Uh, someone yeah. needs, uh, someone needs to make a uh, Bernie Sanders meme sitting next to Forrest Gump. Oh yeah, yeah, they yeah, already that, have. Oh, that, that was one of the first ones I saw. Yes, yeah, yeah, that was one of yeah. the first ones I saw too. Anything They've you actually think of it's already uh, been the done. National Bobblehead uh, Attitude Association Forrest. has already made a new bobblehead of Bernie Sanders sitting on. Um, what what exactly photos. was he doing when they made that meme? Oh, it was the inauguration. Yeah, it was just cold. Yeah, yeah, I thought there was something there. I didn't know if there was more to the story I was missing or not. Just a cold ass man. Yeah, it's just cold ass, old ass. Yeah, it's like anything's memeable. No, <laughs> memes don't really take much inspiration. It's like, oh, that could be funny if I just did this. It's like, let's yeah. just cut this out and put it in like you weird know, background. I'll I'll post post it. It's just the whole thought process. Now, none of them are funny. No, oh, only, only sorry, the ones that make you laugh. Buddy. Funny. That sucks. Yeah, and, and you guys know it doesn't take a whole lot to make me laugh. No <laughs> looking for something funny. No, I know. I can always count on Robbie to laugh at my awful. Game. <laughs> I feel like Forrest and Major are just like waiting for like, <laughs> like chuckle. <laughs> Wait for what? Yeah, just uh oh, well, there goes that thought. So yeah, there's well there's 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 me there's those memeable uh pages on uh, Facebook, like it's always sunny shit posting. Uh, nice. There's like a Star Wars Sith posting one that's pretty mm-hmm. funny. Uh Simpsons one. So they if you like memes, just yeah, check out those. Like we Facebook are we have digressed to the point so. of discussing memes. So why don't we discuss that tattoo that I said? No, I know. We're not talking about that tattoo. <laughs> we're not gonna we post, our list, not gonna our post that picture. Are, oh, I can no, describe it. Don't. Oh no. I can describe it in, in vivid describe detail. It. Wait, is that a belly button? <laughs> yeah. it's, a, it's a picture or is it it's a picture of what I, I, I assume is a male's bare stomach. Where the belly button yeah. has been tattooed into a girl's uh, <clears throat> gaping vagina, while she spreads it with two fingers, yeah. uh, an anime girl with leg warmers on, spread eagled. It's about probably his entire chest and stomach. <laughs> There's also what yeah. looks to be a nug of weed in the top right of the picture. I just noticed. Every time you take Don't your you shirt off, that and that's just. Like- and she's uh she's she's like yeah. pinching her nipple with one hand and spreading her belly button vagina with another, which that's a new no, one. I actually didn't notice vagina. that little nugget of weed up in the corner there. Yeah, there's a little nugget I did not of weed notice that. Top right. I didn't notice it myself. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what that yeah, is. Yeah, it looks like it. I think yeah. It looks pretty dank actually. But yeah, so anyway, so he apparently puts the nugget of weed in his belly button and <laughs> yeah. and gets pussy oh, stone. So Tim does like the wrestling one. That's good. I, yeah, I, just know, I just want to know. I know what happens when a guy takes his shirt off in front of a girl and has that. I just think, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't think that, guy, that guy's not taking his well, shirt I, off around I, girls. Hopefully, I think he's made enough. I want to yeah, see, I I see some reaction like, videos. Yeah. Here's what if he has like? What if he has that like gaping vagina belly button tattoo? Can you just and he's stop saying the word <laughs> gaping <laughs> vagina over and over again. <laughs> gaping vagina butthole. <laughs> belly button. I mean. Oh, he's just a fan of the, of the, of the, the art, I guess. But what I was going to say, guys, is it's still pretty tight. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty tight belly button. Right now, man. But if you're looking at the ratio and proportions, you know, relative to the actual like uh, tattoo of the spread eagled female, who, by the way, why did they not give her a fatter ass? Like that is a flat ass. What happens when this guy becomes overweight or something? Like he, like you know, has a really like, you know, like he gets to. He puts a little speech bubble from her mouth that says, "Oh, baby, stretch me." Yeah, th- that tattoo is not going to end well by the time he's like in his seventies. 
It's gonna look oh, like I mean, how could that guy props that he even makes it to seven? I wonder if it was a bet. Like, I, I, you would hope it had to have been a bet or well, something. Well, go do some investigative like, research, Lois Lane. You, you, it you, could not that be picture, real. you go, you you go find out the it. backstory for that. Come back next week and let us know. I thought it was a music festival that is. We're at the hour. Yeah, uh, I guess we should probably. Yeah, I'm only at, oh, I'm only at 52 I minutes, know. but yeah, we should probably so, should sign off 20 minutes ago. Well, and we oh, also uh, were trying to figure out what was up with Major for five minutes. Yeah. And guys, don't forget to wrap Very it true. up. Okay. So, I don't know. Yeah. Uh-huh. Your Sounds good. Dude, Spencer was just like, leave? gave us the yes. Irish goodbye. Yeah, he just didn't say a word. So, just click. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm going to ruin all of your sponsors. You guys will never get an ad. Well, and goodbye. For everyone uh, listening at home, uh, if you have any questions to send us, just send fantastic. it to uh, Spencer at the small penis at gmail.com. And uh, we'll, we'll get back to you as quick as we can. So, oh, yeah, hey. this was uh, episode two. So, nice. Oh, he's back. <laughs> oh, Sandra's ex. Sandra's ex. Oh, is that what he was doing? <laughs> that wasn't what I was doing. I got a call yeah, and apparently it. it just like completely disconnected yeah. me from everything and I couldn't hear you guys anymore. Oh, I was wondering. I was like, damn, he didn't say a word. Just click. Just like, oh, are we done Bible here? It's like, he's like, that guy, it's like that guy. Yeah, that's guy. before. He just watched that soon as the bell rings. <laughs> Gave us the Irish. Yeah. Screw you guys. I'm going I'm home. Even though I'm already home. Balance board in my living room. So. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, bro. Oh, nice. Well, it's not really working, working out while you're doing a podcast. I'm basically Very strengthening smart. my ankles and my core. Yeah, I'm working out. Whatever. I'm sweating a little bit. Yeah. Mm. Good for you. All yeah, right. This sounds pretty point. good. Well, I think we're at the, uh, the natural ending point. I'm major. So... And I'm, I'm Forrest, and I fuck Sandra Bullock, and I'm just the tip. <laughs> <laughs>